Greetings, welcome, bienvenido, bienvenue, bienvenue. Welcome to Bori Mix. Bori Mix is a one month celebration of the culture of Puerto Rico. And this year, the guest country is Haiti. And for the event tonight, there will be the first reading of four poets, two from Haiti and two from Puerto Rico. They will be sharing the stage tonight, reading poetry for you. And the poets you will see tonight, they are Karen Sevilla from Puerto Rico, Francisco Felix Canales Dalmo from Puerto Rico, Shirley Rivage, Haiti, and Jonel Jus from Haiti. My name is Jean-Dani Joachim. I will be the host uh, presenting the event tonight. Bori Haiti Poetry Night, tonight is the first one. And there will be another event, the same, next Saturday. And tonight, the poets will share the stage in celebrating poetry, in celebrating their islands, in celebrating the Caribbean cultures. And we will start with Francisco Felix, who will be reading from us, for us from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Hi, Hi. Felix, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Bienvenido, Felix. Muchas gracias, Jan. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I'm going to read some poems from my book, Esta Isla. And I'm going to read uh, the last two ones. It's going to uh, be some poems that I wrote in my work right now, which is uh, taking care of elderly people. Uh, and I like being developing some, some poems about it. That's Thank good. you for having me. Thank you. Welcome, Felix. OK. Me entierro en el balcón marchito por la sequía. Una isla que se ahoga en sus olas. Mentira de espuma en la orilla es tener agua suficiente para sentarse a la mesa. Empacar la esperanza antes del vuelo. Abrocharse el abrazo en la cintura. Despedirse de un espejo a medias. Abandonar la tierra, desempagar en otro suelo, de esto se trata el viaje. El sonido de los aviones me recuerda que los abrazos se quiebran en partidas y regresos. Afligirse es una costumbre cuando el regreso nunca es seguro. Pienso que nunca nos iremos de Puerto Rico, aunque los suelos nos dividan, llevamos en la maleta abrazos, agua de azar, una oración que mamá hizo antes de pasar por aduana. Uno se abrocha el cinturón, seguro que siempre volverá. Días de caer sobre cuchillo, días despedazados sobre las alcantarillas, días de carne navegando bajo los pies, días de basura amontonada en las cunetas, días de secarse al sol, Siete días, el sol quema la nuca y la mirada arde. Las balas no interrumpen la poesía. Mm. Escribir por una grieta, porque la gente rota es la que intenta componer. Mientras apuñalo en papel en blanco, varios nombres que inventé agonizan de madrugada. El mundo arde mientras sale el desayuno. La ciudad se repite cada noche. El engaño despierta arropado con escombros. Hay hombres que suben a las seis de la mañana la escalera hacia el purgatorio. Al mediodía, los demonios abren el liquor store. Escribo pasos desde mi balcón. Los pies que todavía no despierta resienten la semana. En una butaca reclinable, el viejo teje sus manos. Bebe un café tibio, su costumbre, esperar. 80 años aparecen en el sucio espejo del baño. La mirada hipnotizada, vacío de las horas. El viejo busca algo familiar, 
los mosquitos, un abanico, un abrazo, algo. La angustia de perder piezas en la memoria. El descanso de las arrugas, la esperanza del espíritu, sobrevivir hasta el otro día cuando el sol vuelva a salir. El vacío crece, la gente se fue del país, murieron o los mataron. Tres enemigos de la vida, la huida, la muerte y el otro. El invento de los que niegan ser felices. El tiempo no cura nada. Gracias, gracias. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. So, what we'll do, we'll, we, we're moving on with the readings, and after that, we'll have a change between the readers about their presentations. Okay, so now I got a question. Uh, should I read all the poems all at once, or I don't know? No, when your time comes, you'll just do your presentation like Felix just did it. You just read your poems, yes. So, everything. So, if I have four poems, I just read the four poems all at once, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay, okay, Shirley, Shirley. Who, who, one form who can present it? Yes, yes. Okay, ça va, ça va. Okay. One form, one form. Bon, bise... Okay, c'est bien. Pas un problème, ou juste faire présentation, et puis après, on a bien assez de temps pour nous faire une discussion entre présenteurs. Vas-y, Shirley, c'est ton tour. Ok. Jonel Juste, semble qu'il y a une difficulté, on continue avec Jonel Juste et puis après prendre Shirley, les est arrivé. Les connexions sont plus bon. Muted? All right. It seems that you are muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, ok. Ok, so my first poem, uh, I'm going to read in French and Creole. Uh, the first poem is Panorama. Panorama. Dans ce vaste monde, il n'y a pas le jour, il n'y a pas la nuit, les années, les saisons, les siècles. Dans ce vaste monde, il n'y a que toi, il n'y a que moi, il n'y a que nous, dans la fraîche blessure du présent. Dis-leur, dis-leur, dis-leur poète. Dis-leur qu'à travers les brisures de la fibre de verre se dessinent les contours des rêves éparpillés aux quatre coins de la mémoire. Dis-leur. Dis-leur que se trace sur les murs le souvenir des jours heureux. Dis-leur. Dis-leur ta mémoire pavée de ciel bleu et de chute d'eau. Dis-leur. Dis-leur des mots qui s'étranglent quand les larmes s'alarment, quand les vagues divaguent. Dis-leur. Dis-leur tes eaux de pierre et tes saisons de marbre. Dis-leur, dis-leur tes insectes polygames et tes soupçons en vrac. Dis-leur, dis-leur l'éjaculation de l'écho, la largesse océane. Dis-leur, dis-leur l'évanouissement de ta voix dans l'infini du désir. Dis-leur, dis-leur la nudité de la lumière dans l'innocence du matin, dans l'inconscience des nuages. Dis-leur, dis-leur le cristal de la nuit, le long des jours d'été. Dis-leur, dis-leur les caprices d'une lune en chaleur. Dis-leur, dis-leur le soupir des étoiles. Dis-leur qu'ici, les mots n'ont de bouche pour parler. Rêve réveillé. Moi-même qui t'ai oublié rêvé, depuis mon fin ouais, tout rêve moi réveillé. Moi-même qui t'ai oublié rêvé, et puis rêvé bride sous cou, sur le combat ou échoué, ou plein j'ai max sable en mai. Depuis mon fin ouais, nous ne prenons des palais. Toutes les étoiles de bouche bée. Ou entre dans le champ moins, ou traîner vague la main, bateau bouteille soleil, zèle papillon, l'ambico qui tout coule. Moi-même qui t'ai oublié rêvé, tout rêve moins fin fou, prends vos roches, comme la main, mais moi me fais un naufrage technique ou l'eau. À la méchant, y aller au bat tambou, et puis au calipois, y a tout j'ai coulé un jour. Yo pan yo, et puis yo passe yo, nan jeze goui. Yo foute kremlet la, yo foute timon yo tout, yo konne lambi, yo sonne cloche, yo coupe koukouchon, yo fan bois, yo grille café, 
yo kase tete se, e pi yo fri yo, yo pilonen piti mi, yo deplimen poul, yo koshe kabrit, yo fe fiel koden, yo dekoupe kopyeze, yo fan fwa bari kleren, e pi yo ne e chagren yo ladan, yo soute kou bef la nan gouje se, yo frape pot, yo nba lot kout men, yo nremet lot kout pie, yo vire zantra ite ya, yo touye la kout kou, yo sasine la pi kwa, yo filange la manchet, yo pousse tab, yo rache nap, yo pousse yo das jiska ske yo fel tombe, yo kraze l'audiens, yo griye siga, yo nan trangli lot, yo nan toufe lot, ak kout ri, yo pousse la romans, yo bich kan yen timi dam yo, e pi yo chavire yo, yo bat la kampay, yo frape pie, yo bat men, yo kase tete zote yo, yo mode gros pous yo, yo rile yan mwe, yo kriye, yo chante, yo boula, yo danse, yo fe la vi wan dede, alan tou kote, de pou ma yi a femen, prizonye, apri yo fin tou founel, soukel, sapatan ni, kraze l, Moulin. And the last, the, the last one I'm going to read that in English. It's, it's one of no, my poems in English. I loved you before I know your name. I loved you before I know your name. I guess your name is not that important. After all, what's in the name? What is it but a sound, a pretension, or a reminiscence? It can also be a whim or a fantasy. Do names bring anything to a personality and whole being? Who knows? To me, you're more than a name. You're a star that's swirling in a galaxy close to home. In fact, thousands and thousands of years would not suffice to say the small seconds of eternity when you kissed me and I kissed you one morning in the beaming light of the sun. I knew I loved you before I knew your name. Love comes before a name or even a word. I will call you, I, I call you light, warm in, in cold and sleepless nights in, of winter. Love comes sometimes as a stranger walking through a silent tunnel. From time to time, the silence is disturbed by street dogs barking. Thank you. Gracias. Merci. Merci. Merci, un peu, Journal Juice. And now, we're going to pass to Karen. Ahora es el turno de Karen. Que, Karen, are you in the States or are you in Puerto Rico now? Hi, um, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you very well. Thank you. Good evening to everyone. I'm currently in Puerto Rico. I'm residing in San Juan. And I am so honored to share this activity with all of you. And and just I wanted to say hello and send my love to everyone who is joining us through live stream. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to read two poems. One of them, the first one, is from one of my upcoming books. This one is titled Santurce, which is uh, in San Juan. Santurce. And these, both of these poems um, are celebrating the islands, and I just thought they were uh, echoing what we, were, we are doing tonight. Yeah. Santurce. El espacio de vitrinas hecho añicos. He vuelto a mirar en derredor. A la hora pico de la vigilia, la que trae la imposible, la, la que trae la imposible penumbra. La ciudad de graffiti rasca el suelo y levita. En noches así te revelas en mi nuca cuando, cuando lo atemporal se cierne al pequeño yo que se niega a ser me aferro, a la imposibilidad de repetir tus ojos verdes en mi vientre siempre vacante. No por eso anduve a solas la urbe entera, no por eso negué los mapas, no por eso... Quise descolgar la esperanza de las paredes, pues la hallé en el gesto anónimo que me devolvió la isla que alguna vez me tendió su luz irremediable. El mar más allá de la avenida, la ciudad adherida a mi carne como tu nombre en agujas, y es el nombre mismo de esta ruta de concreto, de sangre, de cal. He aprendido a perder y a ganar perdiendo. Solo soy un bípedo rutinario, extraviado nuevamente entre la multitud para encontrarse en la tinta. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this, the second one is also in Spanish. Uh, titled Hasta Estas Ganas de Llegar mm -hmm. Hasta estas ganas de llegar a un fin, temerosamente inconcluso hemos llegado en este páramo verde mira los puntos en el suelo. No te pedí que navegar esas aguas blancas, pero odias el azul. Solo quise que arrancaras el hielo que te alejaba de tu forma. Que si estés distante al calor de los amparos y sigues como ni niño abrazado a tus orillas. Puede ser que un agua calma, estrepitosa, arrastre días verdes cuando estés de vuelta, aunque sea tarde para tu mirada gris. No advertí tu paso por mis temporadas, ni quise hacerte estatua de cal, pues aún espero por las manos que te hicieron escultor lo prego de mis ruinas. Quizás cuando subas hasta el fondo del desvelo y ya no reconozcas el frío en tu piel, menos recuerdes la carne y la tierra mojada que te aguardan desde esta otra orilla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, as we wait for... Okay. Sherry. Sherry is dealing with connection difficulty. As we, okay, welcome, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Okay, while we're waiting for Sherry, one theme, one theme that is common in your writing, for example. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, hi Sherry, welcome back, bienvenue. Si vous avez une connexion, espace là, c'est pour vous. Sherry, vous entendez-nous bien? Merci, merci. Euh, J'espère que vous... Oui, là, franchement, c'est... C'est vraiment un peu dérangeant parce que là, je n'arrive pas vraiment à connecter. Mais non, ce n'est pas grave. Oui, oui, Nous oui, sommes... Oui. Oui. Nous sommes pas je ne sais problèmes. pas si vous, si vous me recevez assez bien. Non, non, non. Est-ce que non, vous m'entendez bien? On vous entend parfaitement bien pour le moment. Ça va. Participez. C'est votre tour, chérie. Si vous pouvez lire maintenant, c'est le temps. Ça okay, va. D'accord. Donc, je vous dis bonsoir. En fait, je dis bonsoir à vous tous. Oui, bonsoir. Euh, c'est un plaisir pour moi d'être là ce soir. Donc, je vais, d'accord, je, je vais lire mon poème. Oui. Mon poème s'intitule « Mon poème est une femme ». Tu as marché nu dans mes rêves et depuis tout est devenu interdit, traîné de paroles qui se flanchent pour semer des gestes d'amour à l'œil dévié de monde qui ne s'est pas aimé. Nous sommes faites pour être libres. Nous sommes faites pour nous aimer librement. T'aimer, c'est le mieux que je puisse faire pour toute ma vie, rien d'autre. Je t'aime jusqu'à braver les interdits, puisque deux femmes ne peuvent pas s'aimer, et ça me suffit. Une fois, et je te veux encore. Tu as un poème vivant du début à la fin. Je ne veux plus de vers, de poésie, car j'étais trois. Le jour viendra où mes passants ramasseront nos baisers jetés sur la route. Ils verront que je porte ta marque avec mon âme. Ok, c'est pas grave. Bon, c'est pas grave. No pasa nada, tranquilo. While we are waiting for for Revive to come back, uh, let's talk about something. The theme so far between the writing here, since you are, we are all from from island, from the Caribbean. And then your writing, Francisco's writing, as much as Karen, she uh, her first poem was about the city, her city, and and Francisco is about the whole the whole place. So let's talk 
about this process in your writing? Why do you choose to write about your space? Each one of you can talk about that as we wait for sure. Let's start first with, uh, with Karen. What's that choice to write about your space? This, my space and my, my personal, and let's say immediate in proximity, I have always, since, as a since I was a child, it has resonated with living in an island. And we live, we grow up with so many colors, with year-long sunshine. And uh, in, in my case, and in our Francisco's also, with this rain and this humidity, and it, the atmosphere, it's, it also creates a land language and i believe that um its intensity and all of the senses that it appeals fits perfectly in poetry and even though when i used to live in the states um the island i could say the island was always there yes when we when we are from when we are from an island it never leaves us no, okay. it doesn't. francisco it's your turn uh you're writing your space is all over your writing, at least your presentation tonight. Can you share with us this process and with the people who are looking right now at this program? Uh, you know, the truth is I start uh, taking seriously writing about two years ago. Uh, I was studying and working at libraries and uh, I decided to continue a PhD in Connecticut after finishing here in Puerto Rico. Uh, but I couldn't deal with it because hurricanes and stuff. Uh, but in those six months that I was in uh, in Connecticut, I came to appreciate uh, things that I usually didn't like very much. Uh, the sound, for example, the noise, things that at the, at the moment in Puerto Rico seems like, oh, I can't handle this. But after time, this is a cliche, I missed it. So when I came back, uh, I saw a different Puerto Rico, more or less, because I uh, left um, in August and I came back in December. So Maria was uh, already passed to Puerto Rico and I just saw mm -hmm. a different thing. And, and um, I just started like uh, not walking a lot, but uh, for example, at first I worked uh, like a delivery mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico and uh, I have to I had to see so much in the city, like uh, uh, places where there's a lot of rich people, places, you know, uh the class disparities and mm -hmm. i just continue to walk walk and i write out of a need because again i'm not a writer but in this process the last two years i decided to take it seriously what i uh, have i done is take all the work that i've been writing for years without mm -hmm. um, any intention of being uh, like a book or something and i start like uh you know like when you're in a, a drumstick start taking out the chicken so i just started to uh make poems about it one friend uh, mm -hmm. he tells me i want to publish some of your poems i tell him it's all right let's do it that's how the first book is born and after that i discovered that uh writing uh, in prose uh, allowed me uh, to develop and explore more my mm -hmm. surroundings uh like uh, i could describe more what i was seeing and i decided to take a diary that i read in like three months mm -hmm. and you know publish it and this is a chronic i don't i think i have it here no i don't <laughs> but it's uh, sobre los domingos about sundays uh so Everything that I that I wrote so far, uh, those two books have been also uh, like cutting about more or less Santurce. Uh, I've been on, on Cerca de la Calle Loisa, but also on Barrio Obrero. Uh, and there are different types of um, environments, but um, I think the space would be saturation. Like my writing comes out of a lot of saturation from the city. Thank you. So now that we have uh, Shirley, we're going to have Shirley continue her reading. Welcome back, Shirley. Please continue with, with your poetry. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, 
Le jour viendra où les passants ramasseront nos baisers jetés sur la route. Ils verront que je porte ta marque avec mon âme agenouillée à tes pieds. Tes pieds, mes seuls et uniques repères. Les places publiques se feront témoins de notre oui et seront complices de nos joies. Et je t'aimerai au nom de toutes les cathédrales. Toi, ma croix, mon, cha mon chapelet, mon adorable péché, cent mille autres. Tu as marché dans mes rêves. Et depuis, la sexualité est devenue arc-en-ciel. Elle se fait et se défaite. Naturel, sans sexe, sans nom, sans pays, sans culture, sans couleur, sans visage. Oui, tu as marché dans mes rêves nus. Et depuis, j'ai appris à tout cacher. Des fêlures de lune jusqu'à ton rire libre et jeune que j'ai caché sous mes bras pour que la tempête des interdits ne l'emporte pas. Afin que toi et moi, nous puissions nous aimer jusqu'à creuser de grands trous dans le silence endormi des mots. Et le deuxième poème, ça s'appelle « Rêve brisé ». Le soleil sous les bras, j'égorge mille pas sans sommeil. Tic, tac, tac, tic, tic, tic. Un temps cannibale habite mes mains déraisonnées. J'emmerde vos discours de peuple civilisé. Je vous emmerde tout court. Vos discours, ces gens-là, pays du Sud nous sommes venus vous apprendre la démocratie, l'art de vivre. Discours de merde, je dis, foutez-le dans vos culs, dans vos culs, dans vos culs, je vous dis, avec une nuée de nuages, en cascade, accroché au ciel, je vous crache dessus. Ne trafiquez plus mes rêves. Foutez-vous dehors, inhumain. Laissez-moi seul traîner la mémoire de mes péchés en errance avec du sang pour signer un poème révolutionnaire. Merci beaucoup. Merci, merci, merci. Shirley, uh, oh, man, we lost her, too bad. I was going to say, it doesn't matter the language, it doesn't matter the language, no importa el idioma, el amor sueño el mismo. <laughs> I am sure all of you could see that she was reading red poems. Red po <laughs> Her poetry was about love. <laughs> okay, uh, Jodel, Okay, Shirley, you you back. Well, Shirley. Yes. Okay, okay, yeah, pas yeah. problème. Non, 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 avant ou aller, hein, ça me dit, oh, peu importe, peu importe le langage, l'amour sonne le même, a toujours le même son, le même rythme. <laughs> Pièce qu'on <laughs> n'a pas besoin de parler, il n'y a pas besoin de parler français pour qu'on connaît que pour yeah. moi, c'est pour l'amour parce que la musique, là, c'est même. <laughs> so, yeah. Shirley, since... Parce qu'il y a un problème de connexion. Nous t'a fait un oui. tour pour être pour demander yo, de process écrit. Yo. Bon, premier texte où tu vois, bon, on t'a parlé de, on, de ville, de on ville côtoyée. Deux poètes qui étaient liés avant, ils étaient liés. Saint-Jean du Sud. Exactement. Nous t'a posé la question pour demander pour qui, qui ça inspiré pour écrire de l'espace. Oui, en fait, pour me répondre à la question, c'est une question qui est assez intéressante, mais en fait, ça passe moi-même personnellement, écrit, inspiration et crime, des fois, il vient de, de n'importe qui bagaille. Tant que Mamoun Dawish dit, un poème, ça peut, ça peut être né de, de n'importe quoi, un poème qui a sorti de, de n'importe qui bagaille. Donc, euh, donc du coup, je ne pas vraiment gagner. Moi, pas gagné une source de réflexion, bien une source d'inspiration qui est exacte. Situation pays, euh, situation sociale, ma vie, j'ai euh, un entourage moyen, situation politique pays, tout ça, on pour m'écrire, euh, pour m'écrire, voilà. Ok, merci, merci. C'est bien, c'est. Parce que pour me reprendre encore, j'ai un maman d'Aouïdi. Un poème, ça peut être né d'un fait divers. Donc, de, de n'importe qui bagaille, ça a, ça a inspiré, mais puis ça ton poème. Voilà. Merci. Ok, Jonel, juste qu'on y a assez au même. Dans le poème, par où il y a l'amour? Il y a l'amour, donc... Oh, Est-ce qu'on dit son excuse? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Donc, euh, nous avons parlé de l'amour, nous avons parlé des pays, 
etc. Donc, il m'a parlé de la Nazi, etc. Donc, après, je me suis dit que je suis Haïti, actuellement, je suis à Miami. Donc, je suis venu tout ce qui est ici. Et je me suis dit que en Haïti, c'est comme si nous avions pour moi dans dans chaque coin de la rue. I mean in Haiti, the, the, the poetry is it's like it's like everywhere. It's like everywhere, everywhere you turn, you you see poetry. You might be doing inspired work. I mean, you don't need much inspiration to 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 be inspired in Haiti. So it's like every everywhere you go to go to Basio, where poetry is allowed to know. So you need some inspiration to be to you. Like you need like a little bit of inspiration, and and then you're good. So yeah, no no poetry in your what way. Il y a des thèmes qui, qui, qui parlent des de, 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 de Zilea. Des fois, je ne sais pas si 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 je ne sais pas So, so, so it's easier for you to 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 see that. So it's it's like it comes to you. As one poet make him say, "I am a poet. I am an island poet." That's what I said in the poem. Bad deal as well. So, 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 Poetry, so uh, of course I have some techniques, uh, some basic techniques to write poetry. But back at them go process grammar. Sometimes it's, it's just the inspiration, and then living uh, it comes and and I and I write down and then drive my app, of course. But okay. sometimes I don't even take from my memory. So sometimes I just write down and I I I, I don't I just write down and, and that's it. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Francisco. Francisco and Karen, what uh. Jonel just said, for example, is this, when I asked him the same question I asked you earlier, why the choice writing about your space? And of course, he mentioned by writing about his space, it's because for him in Haiti, the poetry is everywhere. You don't have to do much. All you need is just walk around and get ready to write it down because it's under your eyes wherever you go. And, and earlier, Shirley was saying that The poetry, the, it can come from anything, anything that you can see. And he mentioned uh, Mahmoud Darwish, you said, Shirley? Yes. Uh, so a po the inspiration can come from anything and anywhere. All you have to do is to get ready to write it down. Yeah, okay. Sure. So now, what about a question for? What will you ask? Shirley, can you hear us? Okay, we can't hear. Oh, we lost Shirley again. Okay. So since we have uh, Francisco, I saw that you write in a way that I read in many other, in many other writers, poets from my country, the space, you know, from reading, what you sent us for the reading tonight, it's almost as if you were talking for the city where I was born, for au prince. You know, it, it, could be, it could be the same. Wow. Yeah. And then your poem, Karen, talking about that city, you have a personal relationship in, that, in the poem with that space. Please talk a little bit about that. The mic? Oh, <laughs> thank you. I think that poetry in itself, it is, well, as, as many of us know, it just comes from such an intimate place. And it is a place that uh, I think it, it makes you, of course, vulnerable, but it, it is at the same time quite empowering. And one of the ways and in the forms that it, it empowers you is that it echoes, it can, it can resonate in a way that you cannot, cannot imagine. You can only start finding out how much when you read out loud those poems or when you publish them and you, if you receive a message or, it just, it, it gets, makes you somewhat 
more aware of the human experience that you thought it was a lot of your own and that you feel but you when you let it go you realize how much it, it is and it is it is very human and and utterly infinite thank you thank you so just to let you know uh I know, Karen, you speak English, Francisco, you speak English, but you're not confined to speak English in this mm -hmm. forum here. You can speak Spanish as you well, as you wish. Okay. You. So I will invite you now, since we have more time, let, let's start with Francisco. Why don't we read another poem, every one of us? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, again. We would like to start another round of reading. If each one of you can choose another okay. poem. Okay. Yeah. From, from what you sent me. Ah, can someone of you can read uh, first? Okay. First me. Karen, are you ready? Jonel, you ready? Do you have a poem? Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, Karen, <laughs> I'm looking. Let, me, let me ask you for one, Karen. Uh, Retrato de la... That's almost about love. Yes. And it's very much about an intimate space. Yes. Uh, se titula Retrato de la Levedad de un Alcoba, or um, it's pretty much a picture of the lightness of a, of a room, pretty much. Decent. That's exactly the one I was going to ask you for. Uh, should I read it now or, or later? Sí, sí, sí. Ahora sí. Sí, ahora. Retrato de la Levedad de un Alcoba. Dame más de ese extraño hábito que reconozco entre tus órbitas. Regálame ausencia, pues quiero conocer los límites que encajan en los oídos y condensar en todo aquello que llama por los rincones vacíos de la cama sin nombrar mis días. Soy todo aquello que me gusta, por ende, basta. Sé cuán ligado es el aliento. Me quiero pensar de terso y no callar, conversar con espejismo. Cuando la voz es reducida a susurro, rebotando entre paredes, única compañía de noche puede ser que las sábanas se inunden de extrañeza, mas sean inmunes al peso de un solo cuerpo, llevar en otro lugar para ver que no está mi huella en el colchón, sería creer que no pertenezco a lo leve, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Oh, Shirley, before you you came back, avant de retourner encore, nous t'avons demandé tout le monde si vous avez lu un autre poème. Est-ce que vous voulez lire le poème de, de Saint-Jean? Ah, uh, ok. Bam, bam. Ou après, bon, Shirley? Bon. Ok. Pendant que Wap Shelly, we go into Francisco, okay? Okay. Uh, oh. Can I read you instead of a poem, uh, an excerpt from my... Uh, I mean, Shirley was going to read? No, no, no. She's looking okay. for it. I told her after, when she finds it, we go into you. Get a, get a we... poem, right? Francisco. Okay. So now we have two people ready. That's good. Right? Okay. So I go. Sí, 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 Francisco. Ok, bien. Uh, abro todas las ventanas de mi cuarto por primera vez desde que me mudé. La brisa hace tolerable la inmisericordia del sol. Parece que en Puerto Rico nunca estamos contentos con el clima. Hace demasiado calor, ha llovido demasiado en los últimos días, el polvo cont contamina el aire. Las alergias me recuerdan que el aire es un préstamo. Supongo que hay cierta verdad en eso de que el tiempo va sanando las heridas invisibles de nuestras circunstancias. Volví a mi apartamento el 16 de abril luego de nueve días en Cuba. El silencio en mi cuarto es intermitente. Aprendo a obviar el ruido ajeno. Escucho tantas veces los disparos, las sirenas de la policía, los sonidos de los carros, los chamacos que bregan con la motora todo el día, el perro que siempre está chillando, las alarmas, ya casi me es indiferente. El viento entra con intensidad por las ventanas, solo se ven unos bloques de cemento. Una alarma lleva sonando desde que empecé a escribir. A las 12 y 49 pm los muchachos se fueron a almorzar y dejaron la motora para luego. 
toda una vida en Puerto Rico, solo queda el tiempo, el mar y este aire lleno de polvo que se cuela en las noches y amenaza con cubrirlo todo. Thank you. Gracias. Merci, merci. Shirley, if... Shirley, are you still ready? Yes, okay. yes, I'm ready. Okay, merci. Thank you, Shirley. À Saint-Jean du Sud, ma ville mère. Ville orpheline, tendue dans cette danse, entrelacée entre corps et ombre. Je chante ton corps, corps à corps. À chaque pas, je dessine tes lèvres photographiques, marge irréversible. Tu fus ma pucelle jadis. C'est bon, c'est fini. <rire> oui, 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 merci, 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 merci. Uh, Francisco and Karen, this, this poem by Shirley uh, is como un canto a la ciudad donde viene. You know? uh, it's, it's exactly the poem you wrote about your city. And Francisco, it is exactly the theme of all the poetry you sent to me, talking about your your place, your barrio, your city, your neighborhood. And there is that same theme in the writing of the island where we are. You know, when we write the place, I, you can write about Puerto Rico, you can write about the city you mentioned earlier, Karen, and then surely we write about Saint Jean du Sud, and it will be the same place for, the, for a reader reading it. It can be the same. If we put all this poetry together, it can be for that unique place we're talking about. Thank you, thank you. Jonel, do you have one more poem for us? Yes, yes. Give me a second. Okay, where is the... Okay, the, this poem is called Tafo de Nuit. It's in, it's in French. So it's a, it's a poem about my, 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 my neighborhood. Uh, in in Haiti, uh, it is called uh, the the place is called Kafu in Creole and Kafu in in French, so that's that, that's where I was raised and I spent most of my life. So it's it's, it's uh, the poem is in French, unfortunately. So I don't know, uh, maybe I'll try to <laughs> translate some parts of it. Okay, let's go. Kafu de nuit, Kafu de nuit, Kafu de lumière nue. Entrelacé, tapis dans l'ombre d'un doute. Carrefour de jour, corps à corps de chair et de fer. Carrefour de nuit, carrefour d'astres errants. Surpris par les phares du train de minuit, l'espace d'un instant. Carrefour de jour, enchevêtrement de vie, fondu dans le baisser levé quotidien. Carrefour de nuit, carrefour d'arbres fantômes et de lunes éteintes. Carrefour de jour, Carrefour d'angle parallèle, de miroir sans reflet. Carrefour la nuit, la lumière espionne, rase les murs lézardés, épillant dans le noir les soupirs des amants. Carrefour du jour, carrefour de nuit, carrefour démence, carrefour silence. So, yeah. So the poem is about, yeah, like my place, my neighborhood, uh, carrefour or carrefour. So it just means the. Uh, uh when i was living there the, this place is, it, 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 it it was like the place was was alive it was like it it, it it was not just a place it was like a human being so the place was moving like the people in it <laughs> so it's because that's what that's so so on that vive the vivant etc donc la la même je m'en avais appris on la vive tout tu comprends donc that that's what uh the poem is about it's like it's like a place who, who, that 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 is living that 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 is a that, that's like, like like a human being so that uh i could summarize the, the poem like that thank you i unfortunately shirley is losing connection much but the next what i was going to to do next is to to say let's use that space right here to dream a little bit as we celebrate this gathering, you know, that, uh, that's marvelous, this, this festival has existed for 15 years already in Puerto Rico. And they've been inviting different countries, not only to celebrate the arts of Puerto Rico, but also to 
to invite another place like tonight it is haiti invited via journal and shirley revage and myself presenting the night and to other haitian poets that will be with us next saturday so i wanted us let's dream for a second I, as we all here in this space what if we can tour the world with this activity what will that be if we have what we're doing right now what puerto rico is doing with its culture not only inviting islands neighborhood countries around it but to invite every little country in the world to continue that celebration as we invite them more that would be awesome that would be awesome i mean I don't know. That's, that's something I would like to see, <laughs> to see all, all these poets from all over the world and uh, uh, telling the poems. Even though we won't understand everything, but I think that there's something that we will understand the language of poetry. We may not un understand like the, the words, but the language, poetry has its own, has its own language. So poetry, poetry it's, itself is a language, that is it's true. It's a language, so. The music. Yeah. Music when Karen reads, when Karen reads about her city, and when Francisco reads about her his space, and the sounds, you know, the feel, it's the same. We hear poetry. That's that's what matters. So, Francisco, what what will be the dream to imagine if Puerto Rico can continue that, not only with the islands around it, the countries around it, but to all the other countries in the world. Uh, I think in my case, I would like uh, uh, more interactions uh, between the Caribbean uh, and, you know, uh, English-speaking um, countries and islands because I think we have a, not we, but I think I have a relationship uh, too much with the states, See. not with uh, the Caribbean, and I would like to make that connection as a poet uh, with those. I have been in Cuba to Dominican Republic, but I would like to uh, yes. know more and to interact more in uh, in spaces. Good, Shirley. Before you came, Shirley, who cut on them? Shirley, Edgar, can you please unmute Shirley? Okay, no. Okay, Karen, what do you think? I think that bringing us closer together through poetry or through any other arts will not only help us brighten our minds, but open our hearts and realize that we aren't that apart. We aren't that different. We speak the mm -hmm. same language and we have much more in common than, than we think. And um, us being uh, neighbors, island to island, I think we all have these rich cultures and these rich lives and these outlooks that uh, should definitely be shared. Y, y si hay, mu hay mucho amor entre vecinos, y estos sí. intercambios son no tienen precio. Y la riqueza, todo lo que se gana y todo lo que podemos ver. Y yo creo que también en tiempos del de COVID, sí. que todos hemos encerrado en nuestras pequeñas cuevas, salir de esta manera y que nos, nos una la palabra, nos una el arte, es, es un bálsamo. Es, es, sí. no, es el tipo de alimento, soul food, que necesitamos. Sí. Sí, too bad. We are having trouble with. And, and of course, you see, by having an event like that tonight, it shows us the difficulties of other places. For example, you see, we are here in the state. If you are here in the state, you have access of connection from the internet, and then you travel not too far. You know, Haiti is not that far. It's, you know, 90 minutes, 45 minutes from Miami, and why we are having, you know, connect, you know, the internet, when the internet is all over in the world. You know, the world is not fair. Yes, Francisco. John, I'm gonna take uh, Karen's example and speak in Spanish. Uh, si, because I, I think I didn't answer well uh, that question or what you said. 
Uh, eh, yo he estado teniendo unas experiencias como negros en Puerto Rico uh, y me he dado cuenta yo como persona negra en los espacios de, de arte y de poesía, etc. Eh, somos bien pocos, eh, ya sea por ¿verdad? el acceso a, a educación y la cuestión de, de que no se lleve el interés de la lectura y la escritura, eh, ¿verdad? Pero me gustaría que se hace en Puerto Rico ya, pero esa cuestión de, de afirmación de afrocaribeño, pero que no sea nada más de Puerto Rico, eh, sino pues Cuba, República Dominicana, eso bueno, pero que, que haya un espacio en donde vengan otras personas de color negro y eh, hagan accesible la poesía y el lenguaje, este, para que, ¿verdad?, eh, invitemos a mucha más gente a, a, a que lea poesía. Es una cosa que yo siento que, que a veces se tiene apatía por, ¿no? Pero sí me gustaría eh, en el futuro y, y con estos espacios así, me, me, pues es mi primer evento online y iba a tener pues cuestiones con conexiones, pero me parece, por lo menos a mí, por ejemplo, que soy bien eh, introvertido, que también da espacio para, para soltarse y que hay sí. espacio para que mucha gente lo vea. Y, y, nada, sí. y gracias, muchas gracias por eso, que que nos voy a hacer por ustedes, tal vez no hubiera eh, tenido esta oportunidad de poder compartir este tipo de sí. Good, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, you know, in COVID time, this is something that we, we learn too. It's from all the trouble, this is one we learn now from all over the world. We learn to use this form. You know, imagine I was supposed to travel for, for a poetry festival and it couldn't happen. And then I had to do something. And right there inside my apartment, I organized a full poetry festival. And Jonel, Jonel just participated. I just did it, you know, when I realized in the beginning, what am I going to do? It's COVID time. So we learned to use the space. And also, this is great. I am glad. I'm so happy and I'm grateful. I am honored. I'm saying thank you a thousand times for Haiti, for being invited, because that shows Haiti you know, at the level of language. You know, you have all the languages around us. For example, we have our Creole language, and then all around us, we have Latin speaking countries. But now because of different things, and of course by colonization, we in a read the French language, or if you have access to education. But after that, Now the English language is everywhere. So therefore, I think because of the language connection, we didn't have, we do not receive invitation enough to travel. For example, it, it, the Latin countries didn't too much invite Haitian artists, Haitian poets. You know, I've, I travel, I've been to some places, I've been to, to Colombia, to Puerto Rico, to Honduras, but each place I will go, I will be the first. You see, so therefore we need, we need because of that, that creates a blockage for Haiti. And thank you for inviting us tonight and allow our poets to speak in their language, in their Creole, in their French, and as we we speak poetry together. I think that's a great beginning, and we're very grateful for that. So we still have time, and Shirley has connection problem. Let's read one more poem. Why don't we do that? See? Tenemos tiempo, entonces, seguimos a leer. Hace dos mil días. ¿Quieres leer eso, Karen? Claro, muchas gracias. Um, <laughs> a poem about missing someone yeah two <laughs> thousand days ago and counting so hace dos mil días por ti guardo fósforos en los bolsillos para prenderlos con chasquitos de los dedos e iluminar rincones de la casa contigo tejido una corona de espinas un velo hijo de la noche que bauticé con el luto de tu partida. Hoy por ti, siempre llevo el pelo negro. 
<laughs> okay, Francisco, let's read something, but it has to be about love. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's see i i i got i got i got uh some poems dedicated to my grandmother uh it's just this couple of months i've been tantrum about uh ah, they're so dramatic uh but they're nostalgic now i can read it uh for you okay. it's, it's about love and missing but you know okay okay <laughs> Abuela tenía un soplo en el corazón. El doctor le prohibió comer sal. También le prohibió las azúcares. Mamita, como así le decíamos en casa, se escondía en la cocina y le regaba una llovizna de sal al arroz y tendía una camada de azúcar en la Malta India. Veíamos la novela del mediodía. En cada anuncio, mamita le hacía un chequeo al arroz. Recuerdo ir a comprar Heineken para el arroz guisado. El truco era bañarlo 15 minutos antes de que se cociese. Luego beberse el resto de la cerveza con prisa por si llegaba mi madre y nos mangaba en la maldad. Los tíos, los tíos gastaban su regaño los siete días de la semana. El doctor le dijo que no hagas, rega no hagas desarreglos, no comas sal, no comas azúcar, no te estreses, tampoco levantes cosas pesadas, no caminas mucho, no te acuestes boca abajo, que no vuelvas a guiar el Chevrolet. Dale la terapia por la mañana, tómate la pastilla de las 8, la pastilla de las 10, la pastilla de la 1 de la tarde, la pastilla que va debajo de la lengua, la pastilla de por la noche, las pastillas, las pastillas, los 7 días de la semana. Yo fui testigo de los desarreglos, de la sal, del azúcar y de la malta. Fui yo quien levantó las cosas pesadas, quien caminó a comprar las Heineken, quien abrazó la tristeza cuando no volví a guiar el Chevrolet quien preguntó los siete días de la semana si se tomó la pastilla. Lo vi todo sentado en el sofá, sentado en la silla, en la silla de mimbre, comiendo arroz con carne molida sobre el mármol. Fui testigo, pero nunca dije nada. Mamita había comprado mi silencio, dándome dos pesos para comprar una libra de pan, cinco pesos para la tienda de dulces en Sabana Abajo. Compró mi silencio con un beso al llegar de la escuela. Mi abuela decía que su nieto era soso, por eso sobra sal en mi cocina. Lo que no sabía mientras probábamos el arroz era que el tiempo nunca sobra. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Jude, do you have your love, another love poem? I, got, uh, I have long love poems, but <laughs> I think I read, uh, I, I read the love poems already. Uh, uh, they've you something like that it, it was in Korea it was, it, it was about love but i would like to uh tell one about uh, uh covid i mean this thing we are living right now so i think i, I wrote this thing in the beginning in, in 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 the spring so when covid first entered the united states so people were like frightened and the and some people would say that's that's the end of the world you know every time you got this time of uh, I mean, catastrophe, this time of thing. So some people think, oh, that's that's the end of the world. We, we, we're gonna die. So 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 that inspired me to write something about about that. So um, it's in French. I'm gonna read it in French, and then I'm gonna try to summarize it in in, in English. Ce n'est pas la fin du monde. Ce n'est pas la fin du monde. C'est la fin du monde. Le monde finit chaque soir et recommence chaque matin. Ce n'est pas la fin du monde. C'est la fin d'un monde et le début d'une autre, de notre et la fin et le début et la fin et le début. Rien ne finit jamais. Rien n'est qu'une transformation, perpétuelle renaissance, éternel recommencement. Toujours d'autres cieux à, à, à rénover, d'autres mondes à ébosser, d'autres codes, d'autres chants, d'autres danses, des rires nouveaux, des amours à refaire, seconde chance et deuxième vie. So uh, in English, uh, that, that says it, this is not the end of the world. So, uh, that's what I, I was trying to say when people were was, was, was saying that uh, this, is the, this is the end of the world. That's, that's it. We're, we're going to die. We're doomed. So I was trying to say that this is not the end of the world, that uh, we're going it's, to, it's, it's, it's the end of our world. Uh, our world is, 
one world is ending and another one is mm -hmm. is starting so this is the new world we are living right now the, the the world of covid so we are we 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 have to try to to find new ways to live uh to to I, because i think we're gonna live with, with this thing so i, I think this, this is gonna last a long time so we, we don't we don't know when until they, they find a vaccine so we're gonna have to to live with it so we're gonna have have to learn new codes new ways to live so that, that that's what i was trying to say uh in, in in this poem and i think tonight we are using one of the new ways and the new code that is Sharing exactly. poetry, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sharing poetry between islanders, and then we will, of course, invite other people. We will start marching to the world, you know, to that's true, that's true. to shorten the distances with sure. with, with the arts. Yeah, this with is one the of the new codes. Yeah, the yeah Zoom or whatever. <laughs> it, so. it was amazing. Uh, making a uh, you know to discover your work, Karen, to discover your work, Felix. And of course, Jonel, I had the opportunity to meet his work before to something I, I organized in Boston where he participated. That was something about COVID, exactly. I did something on the theme of COVID. But you know, I cannot, I can't stop thinking while we are here together to imagine Boriaiti, this reading tonight, that is the first one. When we're reading in Spanish, we're speaking Creole, we're speaking English. There is, we're speaking French, you know, there is no, no limit. You know what I was dreaming about? And I'm going to ask the organizers if they want to do that. Imagine, imagine, uh, imagine uh, a review on our periodista, the, all the reading tonight in print, in the languages, only the things we read tonight. I think it's possible, right? We have a press that can a reading about Boriaiti. Of course, with all of us, if we accept, that will be wonderful for people in Puerto Rico, in Haiti, in the United States to read, you know, the words that were used here tonight in that space, and also the words that will be used by the other poets coming next Saturday. I think that will be a wonderful idea. I can't wait to tell Edgar and... Uh, uh, me olvido su nombre como Shirley Antonio. Ah. Sí, sí. Alan, no. Sí. I can't hear you, Francisco. Eh, Angel. Yes, yes. Angel. Angel, Angel. Angel, sí. Uh, so I think I will pass that that uh that info. From, I think that will be a wonderful idea. What do you guys think about that? To see the words, you know, of course, yeah, yeah. in print. What we just did because I had the opportunity to see them, to see what you were going to read. So, you, but you see where they um yeah. first when they where they first, y cómo ellos cada trabajo dialoga how every uh, uh, how the work of each of the authors dialogue have a dialogue. See, 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 definitely. For more than that, I know a poet here. Uh, a Puerto Rican poet who lives in the state, you probably know him, Martin Espada. He has a poem that is called En la calle San Juan. No, no. No, no. En la calle de San Sebastian. En la calle de San Sebastian. So when I read your poem, Karen, I couldn't stop thinking about, about his poem, this poem by Martin Espada. And then when I read the work of Francisco, for me, he was from Haiti. He was talking about Port-au-Prince, <laughs> the capital of Haiti. That, that's what I saw when I, when I read that. So I think it will be great if we, can, uh, if we can have this idea. So at this stage, it's almost time to say goodbye. Uh, let's all of us... When I, when I, read that. So I think it will be great if we can... Oh, did you record me? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm on Facebook. <laughs> I'm on Facebook. Okay, okay. So I, it's almost time to say goodbye. So let, let's speak a last word, each one of us, to say thank you and then, or whatever else you want to say to end this evening. Uh, well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, I would like jo Jonel and you two, Jen, uh, for me to recommend me and send me some names of Haiti, uh, Haitian literature. I'm really interested. 
Uh, so you can send me some names, uh, and I think it's a good idea to make some sort of, uh, I wouldn't say anthology, but maybe some uh, a reunion of poems. Si, 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 si. Maybe in the future. It will happen. Okay, and I'm taking uh, between, uh, between Cheryl, we will pass that message to her. I think she's very connected in Haiti with that, with this type of activity. And journal too, I imagine, will be helpful in that. That's yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that we, we had this. Uh, we had this uh, uh, festival of uh, of poetry. So uh, yes, uh, I, I learned. I, I, I learned from you guys, and uh, it's always good to meet other people, to meet other poets. So um, I, I'm grateful for the opportunity to discover other people, other poets. So I think it's a, it's a great thing. So I thank uh, Penaiti that uh, that, that uh, invited me, and I thank Inhale. So, uh, I think all these people will make it possible. So uh, I think that that's something we should do more often. Uh, that poets we should we should try to reach to one to one to one uh, uh, to one to one another. So we are in a world that is very divided right now. But I think that poetry uh, there's no place for division in poetry. So we, we all of us we are we are one. We say we share the same language, the same love for for words and and emotions and things like that. So. So I um, thank you guys, and that, it was a, a good pleasure to to to, to be with you. Thank you, Jonel. Thank you, Karen. La última palabra, Karen. I wanted to say thank you to all the friends of the festival, to Angel Antonio and uh, Dr. Joaquin, um, also Jonel Francis and to all of everyone who's listening to us. And I think that these times, poetry is, is a great compliment to, to these times and yeah, to our space, to fill our spaces with it. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was an honor for me to, to be part of this, to host it. And I will be again here on Saturday with two other poets from Puerto Rico and from uh, and from Haiti, and it will be great if you guys can be there too. To you know, perhaps not in this one, but in a place where because I can see as you guys were reading, there were people writing, reacting about your your presentation. So we can still continue the conversation. And now we are connected. We are friends forever. I would like to say thank you to to Bori Mix. You know, and I wish them 100 years of celebration. Now it's only 15, and I hope that the celebration continues, continues, continues until it circles all the countries in the world. You know, we don't only have Haiti, but for Puerto Rico to go around the world like a big century run, you know, for a big hog. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, all the people watching us. Now we are about to take the show of the year. Ciao. Good night, Francisco. Good night, Karen. Good night, Jonel. And of course, good night, Sherry. Ciao. Bye-bye.